Hey, this is Jamie with Stonemaier Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite game mechanism in The Squirrel Game, which is a game that you probably have not heard of. I hadn't heard of it until a couple days ago. It was a childhood game owned by my girlfriend and her family. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's pretty dated. It goes way back. Uh, I think it's like 20, 25 years old. But we played it the other day, so this is kind of a joke video, but I actually think there's merit in talking about really any game, and I think that in includes the squirrel game. Um, the basic idea in this game is that you control one of these squirrels. I, I play red, so it was the red squirrel over here. And you roll a die and move that number of spaces along this track, um, gathering pine cones. For some reason, they didn't do acorns or seeds. They chose pine cones. You're gathering pine cones, and they're actually pine cone li like little plastic miniatures that you put in your little um, your little uh, cart here. And you move around the board and collect them, and then you drop them off at your final destination. And then you keep on going around until you get 15 pine cones. Um, however, there's a little bit of a catch, because if you ever end up with more than six pine cones in your cart, you have to dump your entire cart. So, so far, I haven't mentioned any choices, right? You're rolling a die, you're moving, you end up with too much, you, you have to dump that cart. But there are choices in the game, and the main one happens when you end up leapfrogging over someone else. Which again, you're rolling a die. You don't really control when that happens. I think a modern ver version of this game might have you rolling two dice. Although it's a big part of the, uh, part of this game to not have full control over what's happening. Because the choice that you're making whenever you jump over someone else's cart is that you either get to steal th up to three of their pine cones from their cart. Um, as you can see, could happen in this scenario. Or you get to drop off up to three of your pine cones in their cart. You might wonder why would you ever drop them off like you need pine cones to, to to win the game but what that might mean is that you might still have a bunch of the track to cover before you get back to your home base and so you may not want a lot of pine cones at the beginning of that that course you kind of want them at the end right before you get back to your home and along the way you kind of want to screw over the other players a little bit there's a little bit of take that in fun and jest here um where you might want to drop off some extra pine cones in their cart to laden them down and make it harder for them to make it back to their place their home uh with pine cones in their cart at all because they might have to dump them if they have over, the, over six pine cones so as simple as this game is i really like that little choice that you have it plays really fast all you're doing on your turn is rolling your dice and sometimes making that choice if you leap over, leapfrog over somebody else um but I, I really like the choice. I think that was a fun choice to make in this simple childhood game. Uh, this was a good reminder to me that simplicity uh, isn't always a bad thing. This was, I mean, mindless fun. And that was exactly what we needed when we played this game. We had a long day, a busy day, and it was fun to just sit down and play a mindless fun game. Um, it was the, it, per, it fit that niche perfectly. So I'd love to hear your, oh, and actually I wanted to mention, I don't know if you can kind of see it up in the, in the upper board here, but I thought I was being special when I put dual layered mats inside, but this game from like 25 years ago had a dual layered board. These little notches are dual layers where you put your pine cones when you drop them off at your home base so they don't slide around because you often roll the die on the board, which kicks up all these pine cones, but because they're in these little dual layered slots, they don't move. How cool is that? That 20, 25 years ago, they had the, the foresight to have a dual layered board. Um, so yeah, I, I'd love to hear your thoughts on either your favorite childhood game, uh, your favorite mindless fun game, or if this reminds you of any other game where you have a very simple decision to make at certain points in the game, maybe it hurts, helps you, hurts an opponent. I'd love to hear about that in the comments. Thanks, that's the Squirrel Game. <laughs>